And now this thing is, so far it's just a factor. What makes it an integrating factor is that this, after I do that, I want this to turn out to be the derivative of something with respect to x. You see the motivation for that. If this turns out to be the derivative of something because I've chosen u so cleverly, then I'll be able to solve the equation immediately just by integrating this with respect to x and integrating that with respect to x. You just then integrate both sides with respect to x and the equation is solved. Now, the only question is, what should I choose for u? Well, what I'm, this, if you look, think of the product formula, there might be many things to try here, but there's only one reasonable thing to try. Try to pick u so that it's the derivative of u times y. See how reasonable that is. If I use the product rule on this, the first term is u times y prime. The second term would be u prime times y. Well, I've got the y there. So this will work, works if what? If what's the condition that u must satisfy in order for that to be true? Well, it must be that after I do the differentiation, u prime turns out to be p times u. So is it clear? We want, this is something we want to be equal to. And my, the thing I'll try to do it is by choosing u in such a way that this equality will take place. And then I'll be able to solve the equation. And now, so here's what my u prime must satisfy. Hey, we can solve that. But please, don't forget that p is p of x. It's a function of x. So if you separate variables, I'm going to do this. So what is it? du over u equals p of x times dx. If I integrate that, so separate variables, integrate, and you're going to get du over u integrates to be the log of u, and the other side integrates to be the integral of p of x dx. And you can put an arbitrary constant there, or you can think of it as already implied by the indefinite integral. Well, that doesn't tell us yet what u is. What should u be? Notice, I don't have to find every possible u which works. All I'm looking for is one. All I want is a single u which satisfies that equation. Well, u equals the integral e to the integral of p dx. That's not too beautiful looking, but by differential equations, can, things can get so complicated that by the, you know, in a, in a week or two, you will think of this as an extremely simple formula. So there's the formula for our integrating factor. We found it. We are always be able to write an integrating factor. Don't worry about the arbitrary constant because you only need one such u. So no arbitrary constant since only one, since only one u needed. And that's the solution, the way we solve the linear equation. OK, let's uh, take over and um, actually do it. I think I, it would be better to summarize it as a clear-cut method. Uh, so let's do that. So what's our method? It's the method for solving y prime plus py equals q. Well, the first place, make sure it's in standard, standard linear form. If it isn't, you must put it in that form. Notice the formula for the integrating factor. The formula for the integrating factor involves p, the integral of p dx. So you better get the right p. Otherwise, you're sunk. OK, so put it in standard linear form. That way, you'll have the right p. Notice that if you wrote it in that form, and all you remembered was integral e to the integral p dx, the p would have the wrong sign. That, if you're going to write that p, should, should have a negative sign there. So do it this way and no other way. 
Otherwise, you'll get confused and get wrong signs. And as I say, that will produce wrong answers. And not just slightly wrong answers, but disastrously wrong answers from the point of view of the modeling, if you really want answers to physical problems. So here's a standard linear point. Then find the integrating factor. So calculate e to the integral p dx, the integrating factor. And uh, then multiply both. I'm putting a, this as both. Put, underline that as many times as you have room in your notes. Uh, multiply both sides by uh, this integrating factor by uh, e to the integral p dx. And then integrate. OK, let's take a simple example. Suppose we started with the equation xy prime uh, minus y equals, uh, I had a x squared, x cubed, something like that. x cubed, I think. Yeah, x cubed. OK. What's the first thing to do? Ah, put it in standard form. So step 0 will be to write it as y prime minus 1 over x times y equals x squared. There are two standard errors. Let's do the work first, and then I'll talk about mistakes. And now what? Well, we now calculate the integrating factor. So that's, I would do it, do it in steps. You can integrate uh, one, negative 1 over x, right? That integrates to minus log x. So the integrating factor is e to the integral of this dx. So it's e to the negative log x. Now, in real life, that's not the way to leave that. What is e to the negative log x? Well, think of it as e to the log x to the minus 1. Or in other words, it is e to the log x is x. So it's x to the minus, so it's 1 over x. So the integrating factor is 1 over x. OK? Multiply both sides by the integrating factor. Both sides of what? Both sides of this, the equation written in standard form, and both sides. So it's going to be 1 over x y prime minus 1 over x squared y is equal to x squared times 1 over x, which is simply x. 